and saying that Kobe Mayno is set to sign a new deal at Manchester United. Let me clarify something, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, big Manchester City news confirmed. Kobe Mayno, Real Madrid plans, Eric Ten Hag, Mikhailo Modric. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning the exclusive news I gave you here on my YouTube channel and all my channels in the recent days now confirmed. Manchester City have reached an agreement with Hugo Viana, the former Portuguese midfielder who is now a director of football. He did a fantastic job at Sporting Club de Portugal. Uh, he signed players like Victor Gjokeres, who is a fantastic signing, of course, but also Julman from Lecce, also Diomande, the centre-back, one of the most wanted around Europe. So a top talent scout, a top director. He's going to be the new director of football of Manchester City. The agreement is done. It's going to be official soon. First of all, Manchester City want to announce uh, the decision of Chiki Begiristein to part ways with the club. As I told you in the YouTube video a few days ago, Chiki Begiristein is a legend of the game. He's one of the men who built this Manchester City fantastic project with uh, Ferran Soriano and obviously with uh, Pep Guardiola. They all together built this fantastic team. And so Chiki Begiristein is leaving in 2025, not retiring, taking some sabbatical time uh, to decide what he wants to do next into football and then Manchester City will have a new director Hugo Viana the deal is done the deal is completed Hugo Viana was a candidate also for Newcastle job last summer he decided to reject to stay at uh, Sporting but then when Manchester City called Hugo Viana said yes so good luck to Hugo Viana who is going to be the new director of Manchester City then guys staying in Manchester today I received many questions from Manchester United fans one about reports on Kobe Maino set to sign a new deal at Manchester United, the other one on Eric Ten Hag. Let me start with Ten Hag, guys, to tell you that, once again, also today, Eric Ten Hag has not received any formal communication from Ineos. So while I'm recording this video, no communications from the owners, no communications from the management. Eric Ten Hag keeps working on preparing the squad for the next games in Premier League and in Europe. So full focus on the pitch, full focus on the tactical plan, full focus on recovering some players, the injury of Garnacho, the injury of Harry Maguire, Masraoui will also be out. So Man United are fully focused on the pitch in terms of coaching staff, in terms of Eric Ten Hag and then guys in case I have some updates you know I will be here telling you what's going on but many of you asking me about Kobe Maino and saying that Kobe Maino is set to sign a new deal at Manchester United let me clarify something guys Manchester United see Kobe Maino contract extension as a priority since January, February, when they started to push for a new deal for Kobe Maino. Then they had conversations with the camp of Kobe Maino, but what I can tell you today is that, as of today, beginning of October, Manchester United and Kobe Maino, and his agents, of course, are not at the final stages or at the signing stages of the new deal for Kobe Maino. There is a conversation ongoing. This has been ongoing for months. The conversation is positive because Kobe Maino is very happy at Man United. Kobe Maino wants to stay at Manchester United and develop at Manchester United. And Manchester United, uh, of course, Ineos, the management, the manager, all the people at the club want Kobe Maino to be one of the faces of this project for the long term. So, in my opinion, this new deal for Kobe Maino will happen. And in my opinion, also Ahmad Diallo has a very good possibility to extend his contract at Manchester United soon. So Man United see these extensions as a priority and I have no doubts that Kobe Maino wants to stay. But today is not the moment where we can say, okay, breakthrough in talks, the new deal is done. Not yet. They still need to work, they still need to negotiate, they still need to fix some details, and then Kobe Maino, I'm sure at some point, will be ready to sign a new deal at Manchester United again because he's very happy at the club. And Manchester United see this kind of player, young, talented, English in this case even better, and also coming from the academy as the perfect, perfect definition of what they want in the future for Manchester United project under Ineos. Then guys, many questions also on Mikhailo Mudrik, but if you are following here the channel last week and in the recent days, I told you several times that despite the rumors we are having on Mikhailo Mudrik, uh, maybe leaving Chelsea, maybe being set to say goodbye to the club, in January, guys, I don't have this information. Mikhailo Mudrik changed his agents in the summer, but it was not with a view mm, to a potential move in January. So Mikhailo Mudrik is not actively working to leave Chelsea. His agents are not actively working to leave Chelsea. 
the situation is completely quiet around Mudrik. He's working hard to do his best under Enzo Maresca. He's working hard with the coaching staff. Trust me when I tell you that Mikhailo Mudrik is one of the best professionals uh, around the world of football because he works super hard, super strong to be the best version of himself every single day. So this is the idea. He wants to succeed at Chelsea. He wants to do his best for Chelsea. And Chelsea are absolutely waiting and trusting Mikhailo Mudrik. So at the moment, there is no indication. As I told you, if they wanted to sell Mudrik, they had two possibilities in the summer, around July, August, an, in, uh, sorry, an Italian club and a German club. These two possibilities, but Chelsea didn't even want to, to negotiate because they want Mikhailo Mudrik to be part of their project. And so this is the feeling today. That's it on Mudrik. And then, guys, important to say something on Real Madrid. First of all, it's official. Juan Martinez, the talented centre-back. I know maybe some of you don't know who he is, but he's probably the best talent they have in Manchester... Uh, sorry, in uh, Real Madrid... Um, academy when it's about defenders he's doing fantastic he's been doing fantastic for months uh, he was already part of the first squad in the preseason then acl injury so a bad injury for juan martinez but real madrid wanted to support him out of the pitch of course on the pitch with the coaching staff and now with a new contract till 2026 the new release clause is going to be over 50 million euros so new deal done and signed for juan martinez is now official and then on the centre-back situation, on the right-back situation, guys, trust me, Real Madrid, I know in the media we hear that probably Real Madrid will not do anything, Real Madrid are not working to sign anyone. We know that Real Madrid don't love to sign players for the sake of it. This is not their strategy. But Real Madrid sign players when they believe there is an opportunity. And I can guarantee to you that Real Madrid board are looking for talented, good players for 2025. Could be January, could be summer, but for sure, Real Madrid are working on opportunities and on important players, important talents for 2025. Centre-back is one position, right-back is the other position. I told you in March, now the story is everywhere, but I told you in March the appreciation of Real Madrid for Trent Alexander-Arnold. I also keep telling you that he's waiting on the negotiation with Liverpool, so talks are ongoing between Trent and Liverpool. We will see what happens there. And Real Madrid are waiting also to see what happens. But in general, Real Madrid are working on these two positions. The right-back position and the center back position because they wanted Len Euro last summer. Len Euro ended up joining Manchester United. And so Real Madrid keep working on center backs. Real Madrid keep being active on the market when it's about opportunities and talents. So it's not guaranteed that they sign anyone in January. No. But are they working on opportunities and talents? Absolutely. Yes. Real Madrid are active on the market and we will see what they decide to do. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Uh, Ugo Viana to Man City, what's your feeling on the future of Manchester City? And then uh, uh, Mikhailo Mudrik and Chelsea, what's your feeling on that, guys? Also, Kobe Maino, Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag, but also Real Madrid, open to signings. Which player would you sign for Real Madrid? Let me know in comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!